Hey guys, it's Undead Chronic, back again with another episode of The Absolute State of Western Women. Now, I'm not sure Western is a particular category that could get Chronic striked down. Imagine Undead Chronic's jacked avatar in slave shackles out there in the out there in the cotton fields and every time he does a roast a little bit too spicy massa susan come over and whip chronic's green eyes ah, i'm sorry i'm so sorry massa susan i'm sorry <laughs> please don't whip me again yo that bitch so nasty look at that old wrinkly ass low ass powdered ass face walk around that dope ass nailly ass colonial ass dress I won't roast anymore, I promise I won't roast. <laughs> oh, what an introduction. We are here to talk about why you shouldn't really listen to females when it comes to, well, when it really comes to anything, if I'm being quite frank, unless it's in a particular job or a course you need to learn, they're doing a decent job. I'm talking about females saying that you should accept Sex positive. You should you should accept non-virgin brides. That's really what it comes down to. This is the crux of the issue. If I can convince every young Bruda who listens to this channel to refuse a wedding with a non-virgin bride, you are going to we're going to completely change the culture. You realize that virtually all Western women don't meet those standards. You're pretty you're pretty much unless you're going to be hanging around high school graduations. Which, <laughs> shit, I know Cabrudas, <coughs> totally not chronic himself, <coughs> uh, who, who try to pull that number. But a lot of men are just importing. I mean, honestly, that's just what it is, Western women. Uh, we're going to import immigrants to do the jobs Western women refuse to do. What job is that? Be a faithful, submissive wife. You don't have to be that. You don't have to give me kids. You don't have to sit around and enjoy the benefits and fruits of a man's career. You can be an empowered woman. You can go to college and get $70,000 of debt. You can go ride the CC and get schlapped to schlongs left and right. You can sell your soul online for the monetization of simp blood. But the wall is real the wall is undefeated and there's going to come a time you kink tinkerous harlots you solors of the west <laughs> you know what that's gonna be a, a group that's gonna be a combat group in one of the undead chronic video games the warband video games the solors of the west oh i can just imagine it um a time will come you're not gonna have a body men want to have sex with when that comes, all your earning power, all that precious attention you thrive off of because you think you're a Disney princess, it goes away. And it's like the lowest low you'd ever get. Imagine doing a drug ridiculous amounts every day for 20, 30 years. And it's slowly going away. You slowly get a lower dose. And then suddenly out of nowhere, it's gone. And you can never, ever get a hit of that drug again that's pretty much what male attention is to a thought thoughts are male attention addicts so watching post that's why we say post wall thought plats a plat right i don't say it much but it's a pwt put us on the wall the watchers on the wall you know cronking the war band up on the wall camping throwing my arctic kush we look down and we see these post wall thoughts they're disgusting and they're like drug addicts are clawing at the wall. Please let me under the side. I want some more real attention. I'm like, bitch, you're 50. <laughs> you stay on that side. Well, let's look at our first example of the fall of Western females. So let's on the left. This is Indy Fox. I guess it's the chick. It's a chick on the right. Yes, it's Indy Fox. Um, she says, in 2017, I'm ashamed to say Twitch is a platform that supports lazy females selling their bodies for cash. You are teaching little girls to sell sex because that's what's popular. Make them wear t-shirts and pants. Compete on the same playing field as men. Feminism is equality. Spread the word. In four years time. Let me just play some music for you. 
Post wall thought splat. Where she is, twenty twenty one on Twitch. She's putting. She. What is she? Is she farting into? Is this chick farting into a microphone? Are simps out here donating to a chick in some random ass pink room? Looks like a studio. If you check my drift, probably a black leather couch on the other side of the bedroom. What's this? A subscriber's a little post-it note, and she's farting into a mic. What is... This is just... these. You know what really disgusts me? I'm not even... Th these thoughts are... Again, you pay, a woman, uh, you pay a woman money, and she'll do anything. You can pay a woman money. And not just any woman. If you have enough money, you can make the most beautiful women do whatever you want. I want to poop on your face. I want you to get on all fours and act like a little dog. I want you to copulate with a dog. That's right. All these hot models, the top of the top of the top of females, you give them enough cash, enough male attention, they're freaks of nature. They're, um, hmm. They're women who sell their bodies of a particular town that, uh, you know, people say was replaced by Baghdad. Or Babylon. Pretty much what these chicks are. I don't know what. And here's the thing. I, I bet people take what this chick on the right says seriously. This, I mean, it's the same woman. And people are like, what do you have to say about this, Indy Fox? She probably has a real nuanced view on socialized healthcare. I, I, I really, I really think she, she has a lot to contribute to any nation. Aren't you happy that women like this can participate in whether or not they try to send you to war? Yeah, that's real cool. Or about trade policy. Oh, China would never betray us. Let's, let's open the borders to their business. This is just, it's hilarious. This, and pe the funny thing is people take it female seriously. <laughs> That's what's really funny to me. <laughs> just, <laughs> okay. I mean, it's all right. If you're a feminist and you LARP like a man, I'll treat you like a man. So like if a, an old feminist career woman wants to try to talk to me about policy or whatever she wants to talk about in the career field, yeah, I'll treat her like a man. Absolutely. But yeah, just, you don't, you don't get treated like a woman. So you're not going to get protection or any of that kind of you know, um, deverence. Nah, 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 nah. You're a man. Treat like a man. But uh, let's see what these women do. Um, private meet. Private meet with one of my best clients in the Chill Turn Firehouse Hotel. Young, handsome, Iranian guy. Drinks. Talks followed by a natural intimacy. You take it long. Client is a famous actor. Name can't be disclosed. Girl required to wear heels and nice dress. Behavior must demonstrate exquisite class. Fluent English only. Pay two thousand pounds for one to two hours. So it's a pork and dash. The guy dines her, smashes her, and bounces. He says, "Natural intimacy." Excuse me, I'm a model, not an escort. So this George here is uh, trying to get these uh, British escorts slammed by Iranian actors. What's really sad is this dude has to. <laughs> this guy has such a lack of game. That he has to pay two thousand pounds for some punyiti, bro. Let me take you to the club. You'll spend a thousand pounds getting drinks with 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 chronic ribby, and you'll take home two drunk British chicks for free. I don't get it? These dudes wasting money. Of course, if they're super rich actors, I guess they have too much money to know what to do with deal with. So whatever. It's <laughs> just overpriced British um, slores. You gotta get you. Um, some very exotic diseases on your schlong, man. So think about the life they come from. They realize the value of money and how much of a difference it can make. And everybody enjoys having sex, especially with good, young, good-looking guys. What is the shame? Society creates double standards that make women feel guilty about. Okay, so this is basically a groomer. Um, a dude who, uh, you can call him a groomer, you can call him a pimp. I'll just call him a pimp. He's trying to, this pimp is trying to convince this model, quote-unquote, to become a prostitute. That's what this conversation is, and it's scandalous. Um, but again, this is what females. This is what females have been propositioned with from from the start of time. If someone said, "Bro, you know some guys out there are gonna offer a woman money to have sex with men," I'd be like, "Yeah, that's prostitution. That guy's a pimp." And he, <laughs> okay. Keeps on saying, the head booker flies around in my client's jets. All these modeling agencies are owned by hedge fund managers wanting to meet girls. What pride is there in sleeping with 100 guys for free? No judgment, but if you can get something out of it, why not? 
Here's the thing. This doesn't affect Warband members. This doesn't affect me. I, I, I don't care. Because, first of all, these models are non-virgins. So they're useless to me. Besides, like, practice. Besides practice for my sons. Maybe these models, quote-unquote, are in high school. Um, you know, Chronic Junior Chad can smash them and get some practice down. But besides that, I'm not interested in them in any capacity. Zero. I'm not paying 2,000 pounds to, to pork them. They have diseases. They'll suck your soul out. Uh-uh. No way. Absolutely not. Um, it's pathetic that dudes... I mean, imagine being some rich simp spending 2,000 pounds to, to pork a model, bro. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess I, I guess I have to accept it because I want to push all, ex, all, all forms of male sexuality. But I'm just like, bro, you could do... It's just, again, it's like dudes donating to a Twitch thought. But, uh, yeah, we get more tweets or more uh, Texas changes here about how it's so upsetting that she's getting proposition for sex. But you know what? Just go onto Twitch, look onto OnlyFans, and look what these Western women do for free. This is why we say no hymen, no diamond, brothers. Okay? No hymen, no diamond. We need to stay strong on our convictions. Because if you say no hymen, no diamond... You'll be completely immune from these uh, delirious slurs. You completely will. Just someone would be like, "Well, I've had three previous boyfriends and I've had sex with all of them, but you know, it's uh, it like, okay, I'm going to reserve my time and efforts for a woman I can punch in that V card. Do you know why? Do you know why? Because." I guess I guess the real thing is if you want to get a marriage, if dudes that don't want to get married just want to smash a dash or they don't want children, yeah, the, you don't need your V card to be a good girlfriend. You don't need to be a V card to be a concubine. You don't. I mean, I, I'll say it like that. But to to take to take my last name, to take complete advantage of the U.S. family court system, that is like a loaded revolver to the back of every man's head since the day he signs the wedding document. You hear about the Sword of Danicles? This is the 44 of the family court. It's the family court's 44. That's the new paradigm. So, every day a man who gets married has a 44 revolver to the back of his freaking head. That is not good, financially speaking. That's what you're asking for when you want to get married. So the very least, these dudes can expect and ask for um, some self-control, some chastity, and some purity. Because if you have more than one sexual partner, your chances of leaving your husband are above 50%. Above 80% initiated by the wife. That's a divorce. And that's basically, you know, previously mentioned 44 going off into the back of my man's wallet, into his Bitcoin, into his Dogecoin. So yeah, um, tell, your, tell your little sisters, tell your daughters, uh, tell your nephews, nieces, whoever it is, that if they want high value men with the resources to propagate their genes, not to pass it around for free, good lord, it's to, come on, <laughs> it's been under chronic guys, take it easy. Under chronic here. On a wall with my boys. Cold slippers. Glass of liquor. I done stumbled on a green skinned killer. His name is Ribby. Getting jiggy. Hit that PayPal and make us get busy. I'm feeling tipsy. Too much whiskey. I'm cold copping cucks all the way to Dixie. On my chronic game. Ola Puniti. Time to roll another joint. Maybe two more. Fuck around and fuck up the world tour. <laughs> Sponsor these beats at paypal.me slash the undead chronic. Now back to this blazing chick who wants to sit on it. 